name is David Wiggins, and I would like to tell you a little bit about CFPA's GMP Laboratory Operation Certification. If you work in research and development, quality control, quality assurance, technical operations, or a contract laboratory, you are no doubt well aware of the certainty of FDA inspections. What you might not be aware of is prior to 2012, FDA was required to inspect domestic drug operations every two years, although there was no similar requirement for inspecting foreign firms. But in 2012, an act known by its acronym FIDATIA amended the FDNC Act to eliminate this distinction and further directed FDA to take a risk-based approach to inspecting both domestic and foreign drug firms. The amendment further instructed FDA to take a system-wide approach to these inspections. This slide shows the six systems that FDA could potentially inspect as a part of an audit, with the quality system being the central and overriding one. The one we are interested in as a part of this certification is the laboratory control system. In their own guide to inspecting quality control laboratories, FDA states, the pharmaceutical quality control laboratory serves one of the most important functions in pharmaceutical production and control. It also indicates a significant portion of the CGMP regulations in 21 CFR 211 pertain to the quality control laboratory and product testing. In general, these inspections may include the specific methodology used to test a drug product, a complete assessment of a laboratory's conformance with GMPs, and specific aspects of laboratory operations. In support of this FDA statement, you can see the significant number of GMPs related to the laboratory operations here in subparts I and J. In response to this heightened focus of the FDA on the laboratory operations, CFPA has developed a 10-part course series for the purpose of providing a GMP laboratory operations professional certification. In each of the 10 courses, you can see the specific GMP reference related to that course, along with the CFPA course number where you can go and learn further details about each individual course. Part one provides an overview of the certification as well as the first topic, establishment of specifications. Part two covers IQ, OQ, PQ. Part three covers the development and maintenance of SOPs in the lab. Part four covers analytical method validation. Part five covers how to handle OOS results and to conduct a robust investigation. Part six covers stability testing. Part seven, good documentation practices for the laboratory. Part eight covers data integrity in the laboratory, which you may know is a big issue with FDA right now. Part nine covers how a system-based inspection would be conducted in the laboratory. And finally, part 10 covers how that inspection would be conducted as a part of a pre-approval inspection. So what are some of the benefits of achieving CFPA's GMP lab certification? Well, depending on where you are in your organization, you, should be, you would be able to operate as a lab analyst in full GMP compliance, plan and manage lab control operations, apply relevant regulatory requirements, train and mentor staff, develop SOPs and tools, represent the organization in audits and regulatory investigations, and interact with management, regulators, and auditors. In closing, successfully achieving a GMP lab certification through CFPA could be a key distinguishing feature in your career. If you think about it, you really owe it to yourself and the success of your career to pursue this certification. Thank you.